clean water. So the nibs have been soaking. There's one pen that I, I may not be able to clean out today, and that's this one because it had Mont Blanc permanent blue in it, and it became really permanent with the pen. So we'll see what happens there. But these represent all different filling systems. There's another cartridge fill pen uh, somewhere here too. Ah, yeah, Pilot Para. So we still have the cartridge filling system represented. Anyway, so what we're going to do is, um, the first thing we've done is we've soaked the nibs. The second thing we're going to do is, once we're done soaking the nibs, this is a cartridge fill calligraphy pen. So we're going to take it apart. Look at the inside, the cartridge is empty, and this is like the the section without the cartridge in it. So I'm gonna just put this section back in the water for right now. And then I'm gonna take a cartridge. And this is like just a, it's a glue, like a regular glue syringe, nothing fancy. Um, and I just use this to get the stuff out of the cartridge. So I just like, I know this is kind of just a weird thing to do. It's like only what I've discovered. And I always end up squirting myself. And I'm not really sure how to stop myself from squirting myself. It's really kind of difficult. But the idea is just to get most of the ink out. And realize that with these uh, cartridges, this is not a converter. This is just a cartridge that I use. Um... I refill these cartridges because I don't have a Schaefer converter. This is a calligraphy pen, but this is how you would refill a cartridge. You have to clean it first to refill it. So I just try to pull all the water out of there that I can. And when you're getting the last bit of it out, you want to kind of pull the syringe until there's only like a tiny bit of the syringe in the cartridge and just suck it back one last time like that. So, and you can get these at any hardware store. These are not like, medicine syringes they're just completely legal to buy anywhere so um i'm going to set my cartridge and my pen down pull the nib out i'm going to get the rest of these things out of the cleaning solution here too and then the next thing i do to get this cartridge um clean or to get the rest of the pen clean, I'm going to take a little bit of this pen cleaning solution here. And I just, right in that little tube there, I just line that up perfectly and then squirt it right through and I watch the stuff come out the nib. So that was pen cleaning solution. And this has already been soaking. And I'll just... do that okay so once I finish cleaning all the parts I just put them over there to dry and when they're dry I'll reassemble them let's see so the next one we have to clean is a converter filling system this is very similar to the cartridge filling system this is a pilot Prera. And then with this all the way down, I think the best way to get to that is to just soak that in there for a while along with the um, nib. So we're just going to put those two back in. The, and this is just plain water. I might have a little pen cleaning solution in it now. Um, let's go to my next pen here. This is a, a Fountain Pen Revolution Guru um, piston fill pen. And it's probably time for me to take this apart and regrease it, but I haven't yet. So I'm just going to suck up a bunch of pen cleaning solution into there. Squirt it out into my little discard container. Do that again here. Now, I should probably mention that this had in it... Um, and this is a trick for refilling any filling system. You want to put the piston almost all the way down with the fluid inside it, right? And then you just 
pull it back up again and that's how you get a really full fill on these piston fill pens anyway but to clean it it's good to get like as much so that's pen cleaning solution and this had the diatromentous black in it which is a permanent black but um oh and it's got this ink is very very like oily And this is just a very tiresome, lengthy process in which you continually do this until you feel the pen is clean. And I'm probably going to like shorten the time I spend doing this on the video. But the reason I'm spending so much time is because this pen had diatrominous black in it and that's a permanent ink. So I want to make sure the pen is really, really clean. Put the cap next to it. And let's see, the next one I'm going to clean is a, this is a, a Pelican, like a vintage, it's not even a vintage Pelican, it's like from the, I want to say it's, it's from the early 90s or late 80s, but it's another piston fill pen. Um, this was not loaded with any kind of ink that was really bad, so I'm going to just, oh, I think there was still ink in it. Well, this needed a good soaking anyway. Okay, so for these piston fill pens, there again, you just fill them with the pen cleaning solution first. And then you squirt the pen cleaning solution into the water. And I'll probably use blue ink in this again, and I'll probably use it again very soon, so I'm not going to really go crazy with cleaning it. Might need another another dose of pen cleaning solution in here but they, there again it's just like it's a very time-consuming process I'm going to pause this and go dump my dirty water because it's gotten really disgusting. Okay, we're back. Now, I wanted to show you how to clean the caps of the pens while we're waiting for these things to soak and dry out and whatnot. So I'm going to, I take a, like I dip the thing in pen cleaner and I go through the cap like that with the pen cleaning solution and then something to really remember about anytime you use pen cleaning solution is that you should make sure that you also do it with water after so just clean out the inside of you whoa that cap is gross this pen wasn't in the greatest and you can just soak it but that should be all right for now this is another cap here, same deal, pen cleaning solution. Whoa. Sometimes I let these get really dirty and I don't really think about them as being a place where the, the stuff can get to. So yeah, just a simple Q-tip is all you need for this particular little task. Disgusting. Whoa. Pen hygiene. Not... All right, let's try it now. Okay, they do eventually get clean. Let me do the same thing to this one. Just fill it right up with some of that. Whoa, there's a lot of gunk in that. Okay, one more. Much better. This one usually doesn't have much bad stuff going on with it because it, I don't know, the prayer is just so watertight and stuff. It's like, it's a good pen. Okay. 
I don't, there's things I don't love about it, including the fact that it's a little small for me and my Sasquatch hands. But other than that, it's all right. Um, let's see. I don't even think that. Okay, so this is the cap for the Arnold. And I'm going to put, mix my pen cleaning solution with water there because this is a delicate celluloid pen and I don't want to mess it up. If you have any uncertainty about whether or not pen cleaning solution is safe for any pen, just err on the side of caution and always just use water. Don't use any, if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. That's my basic rule with fountain pens. Or ask somebody before you do. Say, what do you think about this in this? And someone will have advice somewhere on the internet for you. They always do. The fountain community, the fountain pen community is great like that. Okay, so we got one clean. Pelican's clean, but not ready to put together. Um, here's the Pilot Prera nib and Pilot Prera converter. Yeah, if you have any uncertainty about this, don't, like, mix up your converters or you'll be really sad, you know. You'll be like, oh, no, I mixed up my converters. It's terrible. Man, there's this, uh, this converter is actually pretty hard to clean because it's got this thing in it that's, like, meant to agitate the ink and I don't know. It mostly just seems to be really large and get in the way and stuff. Okay. All right. I think the Pilot Prera looks clean. I can put that back together. And then this, one more final flush of pen solution through the nib on this guy. And you can't really form a seal with that, but you can, I don't know. Got to be careful with this, too, because it has this little plastic tab, so you never want to hit the plastic tab with the pen solution, because that can be, that can snap, or not the pen solution, with the pen cleaner or the converter and break it. Because see that little plastic tab sticking out there? I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Yeah, you want to avoid breaking that by being forceful down in there. So that's a good tip for the Pilot Prera. It's always good to know. You don't want to mess that up. One thing I like about that agitator, it makes a cool noise. It turns the pen into some sort of musical instrument. Okay, the prayer is done. I always wait for them to dry before I put the cap on if I'm going to store them. Just, I don't know just to keep them from getting water spotted or rust or anything like that in there. You want the nib to be dry. All right. This is just that cartridge thing. I always just assemble them without the cartridge and I store the cartridges separate. And then there again, I let it dry before I put the cap on. And last but not least, this Jin Hao. Oh, I, or no. Why do I keep calling it a Jin Hao? It's not. It's one of those um, FPR gurus, Fountain Pen Revolution guru. They make a, a pretty decent little cheap flex pen. It's good for drawing if you're going to use inks that you might not think are a good idea to use in general. Because you can kind of beat on it a little bit. And if it gets dirty, you can take it apart. Okay, so again, leave that out. All right, we are all set for pen cleaning. So what I cleaned today was a Pelican M200, an Arnold combination pen from the 30s, celluloid, a um, Pilot Prera, a Fountain Pen Revolution Guru, and a Schaefer calligraphy pen. Anyway, thanks very much for checking me out. And uh, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. Have a great day.